All right. Hey, what's going on? My name is Andy Cho, and today I have all top 4x4 accessory uh, battery box. Anytime these guys release a product, I usually snag their product if it can help me um, with my application. And it's going to be for ice fishing and car camping. So here is the cool box that it comes with. It is basically a battery box um, and allows you to drop in a battery and then you can power up uh, any 12 volt uh, device from the battery. Uh, you have access to USB, a 12 volt cigarette adapter, the terminals, uh, Anderson plugs, so you can actually add on solar power as well. All right, the box is empty, but here is the product itself, okay? All right, this is the battery box. Basically, what it comes with is this. On the front, I'm gonna walk to the camera just so you can see, you have USB and the cigarette. In the middle, you have a battery meter, and then you have a main on-off switch, 16 amp. On the front, you have access to the two ports, the negative and the positive terminals. Um, basically, all you do is you unscrew, and then you have access to the bolt right there, okay? And on the other side, um, you have access to two Anderson ports, as you can see right here. Now, to get access to the inside, um, gotta flip it. There's a buckle right here, undo the buckle, pop. And here is the access to the container. Now, the lid. I just wanna show you some of the um, wiring. Very clean, very neat. I didn't find any loose bolts when I was digging into it. Everything was very uh, snug, uh, well, well built, and the quality control seemed to be up to par. Uh, everything, again, is from China, but the quality control seems pretty good. You can see the gauge wire that they're using is pretty stout. Um, going to the battery So yeah, very 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 cool design. Let me read some specs again uh, You have USB 1 amp and 2.1 amp pretty pretty much standard uh, You have the digital voltmeter on the top. This is made of, of, of polypropylene uh, plastic and you have a 16 amp reset switch if you have those external terminals you have the tie-down strap and carry handle um, and lastly, it comes with two 50 amp uh, heavy duty Anderson style plugs right there for solar. So a quick overview, I'll roll in some slower shots while I am reviewing some of the things so you can look at the quality control and the craftsmanship and the components used. But yeah, pretty, pretty cool little device. All you gotta do again is drop in your battery, click the button and you got yourself a battery box. Awesome. Okay, got the battery installed. So when you click the switch on, oh, watch this, watch this, guys, watch this, watch this. Boom. Ooh, look at that. So that's all ready to go. You click on 13.5, baby. Let's go. So right now I have the Drock USB tester and what that test is just voltage and amp. So you just click this on and you can see how much volts coming out of the port. Um, currently I have it in the USB 2.1. 
So if you put it over into the one, it should be the same, right? Kind of, kind of neat. This is on the one amp USB port. Uh, it's kind of going everywhere, but the battery on the phone is pretty high. Move it over to the two. Doesn't really change much, but uh, it's hard to say exactly. But I have noticed if you start playing a YouTube video, it definitely spikes up just a hair, but nothing too crazy. So that's kind of the, the skinny on the USB port and the 12 volt. It all works. I can't get it to pull max. Um, I don't quite have the correct, I don't want to say tools, but accessories because everything is full because it's, uh, uh, you know, start of the new day. And during my testing, we got what, 13.2 right there. But yeah, let's get outside and do some outdoor tests and see what happens. solar panel it's time to set up the solar panel uh, we'll see how it goes before I set this up it's a 120 watt 18 volt system and inside this little case right here Comes with the solar charge controller, the Anderson plugs, and you even have the alligator clips. Let's get it going. All right. 13.2. So according to the solar, or sorry, the battery box, we're reading 13.2 volts. Uh, I'm gonna plug it in and hopefully we see a little bit higher number. Okay, let's walk through the process. I have the charge controller right there, solar panel. Uh, you have six panels at 20 watts a piece. Six times 20 is 120 uh, watts. Um, you got the Anderson plugs hooked up. So the way I have it hooked up right now is just through the alligator plugs. Um, you can unplug the alligator plugs and just plug in from the Anderson plug into those two ports as well. And that works equally as well. So we'll just leave this charged up, uh, plugged in, see what happens. Um, right now it's reading 13.2. That's kind of where we started. I'm going to get the volt um, meter and see what we read in a second. And I know this is upside down, but we have the solar light on. There's no load. And the battery is now moving to full. Uh, before it was flickering the third third LED, and now it's uh, all red. So let's get the voltmeter and see what it reads. I just want to show you the volt um, from the actual panels itself. It's rated for 18 volts, and I'm going to just put the, the leads, the positive and negative, onto the charge controller, and you can see what it reads. So we got what? Oh, this thing maxes out. Look at that, we're getting 2018. It's everywhere because the sun is pretty weak, but we saw we saw a pretty high spike. 14, right? It was reading 20, as high as 20, and it can go up to 18, but it seems like it's even higher. See, look at that. Now I'm going to run the uh, positive and negative to the battery on the solar charge controller. I'm not sure what it's going to read. Um, let's just see what it says. 13.4 is being pumped into the battery. Uh, and then if you, oh, yeah, it looks like the charge, looks like the voltage meter on the box is now reading 13.3. It was reading 13.2 for a while. So it is working, which is kind of cool to see. And then let's just check here. 13.4. And if we get down to...
13, 4, 8, 13, 5. So again, I have zero issues uh, or concerns that this solar panel to controller is going to bring in enough power to charge this box up because it's even higher now, 13, 4. It's gone up 0.2 since I've set it up 10 minutes ago. All right, I want to do one more thing. Unclip, the, of course, on camera. Plug it in here. A ah, boom, it works. Uh, let me just show you. I've got battery. Let me get the better lighting in there. We got, uh, let's see, can you read it? Definitely enough juice. review the all top battery box and then solar panel again pretty high quality components well built um, saw zero issues in the functionality I'm always excited to try and test all their new products um, at the end of the day uh, you get what you pay for and obviously you have to put in a solid battery to bolster and complement the setup but I saw zero issues in my uh, short-term tests I guess if I run into any long-term issues uh, I'll make a post about it uh, they are very responsive through Amazon and if you are uh, in the market for buying one uh, definitely go check them out because I uh, give it an approval all right thanks everyone bye